to use clamor for better governance and social change. Now, some advocacy groups are calling on young people to engage more in leadership activities and contribute to community development. The Sayus who have demonstrated the desire to excel in leadership positions should be encouraged. Maria Mohammed reports. Despite what seemed to be an awakening of young people piling pressure on growing advocacy for good governance and a better life for citizens, the change they desire has not materialized. This is maybe one reason many young people are showing signs of frustration. Even the not-too-young-to-run bill signed last year didn't achieve much. Also, there is a low number of youths participating in politics and the electoral process. I don't think that is loud enough. They say there is an urgent need to mentor and grow young leaders in every sector of the society to inspire growth and development. The midfield for this country are the youth. They're the bridge generation between the young ones coming up to become youth and the elders that are ahead of them. The youth today are leaders today, not leaders tomorrow. And we must equip them with what they need. We must support them. We must create opportunities for them. The right thing for us to really adopt is that the youth are not the leaders of tomorrow, they are the leaders now. They should begin to learn to lead now, otherwise they'll be very bad leaders tomorrow. The group intends to use this program to develop competent young leaders that can lead different sectors of national life. We are going to be very strict because without discipline you can't show leadership which is why if they don't keep to time, because keeping to time is Nigeria's greatest problem. Youths are encouraged to take leadership seriously as they play a critical role in nation building. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja.